show their bare breasts and I think it's fantastic. If men can be topless, why not women? Oh, it's awesome. <laughs> did you know that it's legal to be topless in New York? I did not know that, but it's really cool. <laughs> for your breasts, for your mind. Thank you very much.
I grew up in a community that was very strict, very repressive religiously. Um, my po body was policed for most of my life, um, even to the point where I wasn't supposed to show my collarbone kind of thing. Um, and so then when I moved to New York and I heard about this, it was very freeing, very healing. <laughs> I was very, very nervous because, you know, I'd read online that it was legal to be topless. I didn't really believe it until I got here and I was like, can I take my shirt off? Am I going to be okay? Is someone going to arrest me? Yeah, all the thoughts running through your head. But then, like, about two blocks in, you're like, woo, you know, and there is, like, some of the, like, sexualization, the awkwardness of the people standing outside the gate. <laughs> Um, the first year we did it, I think it was the day the guy was standing there with his phone and every time someone walked by, he'd go boobs, 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 taking photos. So it's like, man, don't you have the internet, you know, and they don't understand. They want a picture, but not with the sign in it and stuff. So it does cause a little anxiety, but other than that, I just think it's a lot of fun. <laughs> issues surrounding the parade on their website which I found out about this through AM so if ever you go through the subway pick up that little newspaper because it's very informative two days ago I found out about this um, they're supporting breast cancer and getting checked for screenings um, they're supporting you know people having the right to bear their breasts in the out in the open um, and they're definitely about women's rights and understanding that like these are not just tissue it's something that we're using to take care of these babies that we're bringing into the world that we have to keep safe on a daily basis so that we can continue as a human race whichever way we're moving good or bad so it's a really big important thing the stupidest thing i've ever seen you don't like it absolutely not what do you think about it you know i don't want to say anymore tell me what you guys think i am for it okay free of breath free of mind all go from California so we don't know much about New York City and their laws so it's quite surprised. Oh I was just looking so you know you know I mean I'm just looking. I try to be a little spiritual and so forth you know I'm just looking so I mean. That was a weird answer. <laughs> I think it's great. I didn't even know about it until like 10 minutes ago. Um, this is New York City. It's, we celebrate diversity and equality and it's bizarre to me that it's a stigma. So I'm all for it. What do you think about the parade? It's awesome. It's nice. It's good. I, like, I love my country. I love my country.
I'm here to support uh, the idea that we can normalize uh, and desexualize the human body. Um, so here to show my support and show that it seems a little bit strange, I think, to society to see a man having to cover up his chest. Sorry, sir. Um, and so we should then take that moment of strangeness and say, well, then why do we make women do it? Shouldn't be much of a difference there. There, there are differences between the sexes. I'm glad to be a guy, oftentimes, um, not just for the privileges I get, but because exercising in this is incredibly difficult, uh, regardless of the sports bra. So I don't know how you do it. I hope it will make it easier for women to show up and find like minds. I met three people who I would like to call friends today and I also met a friend last time. So it'll help women remember that they're free and that they have the right to do it because a lot of women still think that it's illegal to walk around this way and that no other women feel the way they do before they come out and meet other women. You have that also there. Yes. Yes. It is. Yes, we do see it a lot. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I love this, I love this. Nice. Epic cheers, I'm on. It's give us a chance. That's all we're saying. Let's give us give it up for freedom. Thank you very much. Topless, go Topless Equality 2019, not 1954. Thank you very much. Of course, equality, remove the stigma. Global warming is real. It's getting a lot hotter out. Everyone should be allowed to walk around Topless in the hot weather. There should be no stigma, there should be complete freedom across the board, nationwide, worldwide. Actually, worldwide it mostly already is, so we're talking about here. Strange. I, I don't know if I should, can explain it. I mean, everybody has a right to express themselves, and if we think that clothes is gonna, will tell us that we are safe from anything, or keep us, our, keep our minds closed to, to, to uh, change and keep our minds open to change because we don't know what's going to be best for us. Um, well, so to show the disparity, that it is strange to see a guy who has to wear a bra, so me having having to cover up shows that it's strange that we, in many parts of the country, make women cover up. But hoorah for NYC not, uh, not making that happen. Women do have the right to be topless here, so good for that.